We begin with developing news this morning. A deadly crash on the Las Vegas Strip. A woman plowed her car into a crowd. One person was killed. Dozens more are injured. And police say this was not an accident. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joining us live. She's got the very latest on the investigation. Cara. Sandra and Sharon, we have learned that the person killed wasn't an adult and that the people who were injured include an 11 year old child and six people who are in critical condition this morning. Now, investigators have been able to rule this out as an act of terrorism, but right now they're still trying to figure out why this woman apparently intentionally plowed into a crowd. Part of the famed Las Vegas Strip was blocked off overnight as authorities began piecing together what led a female driver in her 20s to mow down at least 37 pedestrians near the Paris Casino. We have determined that this is an intentional act. That means that our LVMPD homicide section will be handling the investigation. Witnesses were in shock as a woman took off, all while a toddler sat in the back seat. It looked like she wasn't even trying to stop the car. She had both of her hands on the wheel and was looking straight forward. Antonio Nasser was one of several people who tried to stop the vehicle as it drove onto the sidewalk possibly three times. I was running down the middle of the street and there was two other guys running with me and we were yelling like move, get out of the way, stop. Um, and then there was three guys that were trying to punch out the window. Authorities plan to look through surveillance video in the area. They're also questioning the driver to see if drugs or alcohol played a role. We have a, a drug recognition officers that would check to see if the uh, driver of that vehicle was under the influence of drugs or alcohol and we also would either take you know, blood or breath in regards to to see if they were intoxicated. Officials say several people remain hospitalized. The toddler and the driver of the car were not hurt. And detectives say it appears this woman had only been in Las Vegas for a matter of days. Her plates are from Oregon, and Sandra and Sharon, she is expected to face charges later this morning.